finally, finally we got some bling, some real stuff here. new lake today had to move on out of the area that I was at there's just no more rings in those lakes I've hunted them out and other people and so I moved on to this lake and last year it did me really well and so let's see what it's going to do this morning and uh, hopefully I'll get on some good stuff the last four times I've been out I found nothing so hopefully here I can find something so let's get at it I've been out in the lake for about two hours and it's been quiet as far as it, uh, jewelry concerns but uh, as far as the coins I've been digging lots and lots of coins so I know it hasn't been hunted between the coins and the pull tabs at least um, it hasn't been hunted very well if it is but this is my first ring it looks like it's going to be possibly could be a James Avery uh, heart ring uh, it is silver uh, it's ringing up like a 60, it's real staticky 60, that's because it's got those holes in the in the ring. But uh, I'm about waist deep where I found that, and so I've worked deep to shallow. And so maybe the stuff is going to be in the shallow area, so we'll see. All right, let's keep on going. place didn't really pay off that well moved on up to the next spot so maybe this one will I tell you what it's just been a bust after bust after bust all I got was that one ring and that ring was as you saw in the video was just a gold plated ring it really wasn't even silver so it's the way it is sometimes don't get discouraged just keep enjoying the day and have fun so let's go find something Well, I just got here. This is the first signal that I dug was a 46. I haven't been in the water five minutes and got a stainless steel ring. It says, I love you uh, on the inside. I think it does somewhere right in there. Anyway, I'll take a, I'll take a silver. I mean, a stainless steel ring. That's better than nothing, right? All right, let's uh, keep on going. Maybe this will be good. I'm literally just right close where I found that ring and uh, just got a 50 here check that out this is more like it now that's a gold uh, that's a gold chain it says AU on it AU's gold right I guess it is it looks gold uh, I'll look at the clasp later on when we get in and verify make sure but then I haven't been here 10 minutes now and my first, my two targets have been a ring and a chain I dug two pull tabs and uh, so I'll take that that's a pretty nice chain Pretty nice. All right, let's keep rolling. See what else we can get. All right, got another 46. It's going to be another uh, stainless steel ring. I tell you what, man, this is all that seems like the young people wear these days: stainless steel and tungsten. Hardly any gold or silver. Uh, well, I can't say I haven't found some, but. Out here, I've just been finding stainless, so that's ring number two out here in a gold chain, so well, that's good. Let's keep on going, and maybe there'll be a little bit more. I'm still in that same area where I found the other ring in the gold chain. Well, I had to go put my dorky hat on. It's getting pretty hot and getting sunburned, so I had to go get my big dork hat, I call it. Got it on, but I was getting an 8081, and it is an episode now. <laughs> got a cross it's got a bucking uh, bronco not bronco but bull rider on it I never seen a bull rider in a cross I think it's stamped 925 on the clasp it looks like a it looks gold plated silver 
but it could just be just go plated something in the class maybe silver but uh, hey it's an episode now moving on from that other section just kind of meandering around now just seeing what we come up with so let's keep going there's still stuff to be found all right finds are keep they just keep coming check this out guys it's a bracelet I've never dug many of these out in the lake it's a bronze or copper but uh, hey I'll take it I, not too far away from where I dug that cross so I'm going to kind of start circling this area and see what else we can come up with. Well, it's getting a 60 something real, real deep and uh, just dug it up. It's going to be a uh, silver ring with some fancy stones on it. Check that out. I don't know if you can see that very well. That's Mark 925 right there. So I uh, wasn't getting thing in the deep end, so I decided to come back over here and about, I'm about waist deep water right now. And uh, got a silver, so I'm gonna work the shallows a little bit more. All right, it's been a long day. I'm burnt and tired and ready to go home, but I'm not giving up yet. I think there's a few more rings in here to get. All right, not too far away from that ring. I was getting uh, about a, I don't know, about a 50 something. And uh, reach down there. I'm only knee deep water, and uh, I don't know if it's stainless or if it's gold. I can't read the markings on it yet, but it's a pretty chain. I'll take it. Let's keep rolling. That well, was getting a choppy 55. I'm just been digging every signal I can dig, and just in about waist deep water, and got uh, I think a gold plated uh, silver chain or a gold colored. Uh, you know, gold colored stainless steel chain. I can't read the uh, markings on it. Uh, I'll have to look at it later on and well you'll see in the video what it already is. I can't see. Those things are too small for me. All right. It's been a good day. That's been a good hole. So let's keep... Not far from that chain, I was getting a 76, sounding like a penny, but a little bit different tone. And it's one of those rings that has three rings in one. So do I count that as three or do I count that as one? I uh, will count it as one. But uh, I, first time I've ever dug one of those. I think it's silver, I'm not sure. I have to look at it. But anyway, good day. Let's keep on rolling. Still working the shallows, just real slow, digging all the si signals. Nothing fancy here, it's just kind of a, another stainless steel. I thought it was a tungsten at first, but it's ringing up a 50. Tungsten is going to ring up around upper 60s to low 70s. This is a 49 to 50. That's about where a stainless steel would ring up. I'm going to hang in here. I'm very tired and uh, very hungry. But uh, as long as it's producing, you know, I'm finding something every 15, 20 minutes and uh, I'll keep at it. Finally, we got some bling, some real stuff here. We got an engagement ring with a spacer on the bottom of it. It's a 14 karat white gold diamond ring. Oh, ring it up a 45, a 46. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna search around in here. Maybe the wedding band is in here too. So, uh, Maybe we'll get another one in here. So let's keep looking around. For well, it. it's seven o'clock. I got in here at 11:45, 7:07. So I've been in here for seven and a half hours, and I got to go home. Check that out. I broke my cuff off my GoPro. I mean my uh, AT Pro, and I've got a backup in the truck. But I'm gonna call it a day. I'm I'm exhausted. Oh, I had a good day. Everything I found in this video, except that one ring and that other swim area, all came out of this one area right here. And so that was, that's the kind of swim holes that I like. That was worth my hour and a half drive to get here. And uh, so it hasn't been hunted. And there's still, I haven't even touched how big this swim area is. It's so I, I only went about maybe waist deep or so. But uh, maybe I'll make another trip back here in another month or so and uh, let it build up again. But I had a lot of good stuff. That 14 karat diamond ring, that was that's awesome. That's the best find of the day there. But uh, I'm fixing to head home, get me something to eat, and uh, relax and start editing. 
I haven't been editing my videos. I've got footage for five videos to put together and I haven't done it yet. And by the time you're watching this, you, I, they've already been done because this is the, the last one here. All right, let's uh, call it a day. Thank you for coming along. Don't forget, if you haven't uh, hit that uh, subscribe to my channel, please do so. That interaction, engagement really helps my channel to grow. So give me a thumbs up, comment, and uh, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it very much. So I will see you guys at the wrap up. Well, I made it in from the lakes. Actually, I made it in last night and uh, <clears throat> I got home around 9.30. Had a wonderful day. I found a lot of great things and another great successful week. So let me show you what I got. All right, here's my trash and boy, did I dig trash. My goodness, did I dig trash. Got a golf ball and a flashlight. A lot of miscellaneous different stuff the reason why i show this trash is i want everybody to see everything that i dig especially for the beginners who are doing water hunting you're going to dig all of this and you have to dig all of this to get all the treasures i'm about to show you there's all my aluminum cans i mean tops all the vape pens apparently this swim area they fish in it because look at all that lead weight and that rings up so good on the at pro all my bottle caps dug so many pull tabs and i didn't dig every one i came across because i want those gold rings and um and there's another set of pull tabs and then you got your beaver tails and then you got some fishing lures so when you look at that there's a lot of trash and i was so tired imagine every one of those is a dig and every one of those is probably one to two scoops to get it out of the ground so you imagine how many times that i scooped all right here's my coins i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven dollars and 25 cents in quarters wow that's a lot i got five ten fifteen twenty twenty five twenty eight dimes check out the nickels i got 15 16 nickels uh, these swim areas just haven't been hunted that much and then i got 10 27 pennies and then I've got a dream catcher. I guess that's what that is. I'm not real certain. Here's some miscellaneous stuff. Three AK-47 bullets. I believe those are AK-47s. I've dug about 30 of these out of this uh, swim area now. Why AK-47s are in there, I do not know. I dug a, is that a 3 16th wrench? Some other little type of gear. A little old GA, G -A -H -G, um, bling. There's my loop earrings. I did get one token. It tells sorry on the other side. Uh, I got a belly button ring and then got a stud there. And went up here, got a, a nice bracelet. That ought to polish up really good. And then I got some other little top of uh, necklaces here. And then Preacher Digger got his cross. And I've never seen a buck and bull uh, cross, have you? It's not silver or anything. I thought it was because the clasp looked like it. But hey, that's pretty cool. Got a couple of chains here. Got one. This is a gold-plated chain. This is a 925 chain. And this is a gold chain, but it's one-ninth gold and in, in over uh, uh, silver. So it's a silver gold chain. And that's pretty nice. So got quite a bit there here are my rings I got that one little costume ring with hearts I thought it might have been silver then I got a ring that's three different types uh, in one a Trinity ring there then we got three stainless steel rings you find a lot of these today the youth just wear the stainless steel then I got a nice silver ring and then the the find of the week is that right there that is a cathedral style engagement ring and i've got another one just like this with four princess cut uh, diamonds on the top this has got a quarter uh cu a quarter diamond quarter weight quarter carat i should say and it's got four diamonds on each side i'm still trying to research the value but what i've seen already online is about two thousand dollar ring this is 14 karat white gold and i was looking for the wedding ring part if there was a wedding ring part but that's called a cathedral style uh, diamond top ring here. But that right there, when I saw it sparkling in the sun, rang up a solid 50. 
that's two thousand dollars that made my trip worthwhile right there and so wow a lot of stuff there's all the trash you got to dig all of this those of you that are beginning in water hunting you got to dig all of that in order to get this and so these are the treasures for this week's hunt I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can go to the lake and find and put on your tailgate the greatest treasure can be found up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again i just wish everybody happy hunting and god bless